How often do you get distracted and you just can't focus on tasks anymore? Not anymore. In today's lesson, we're gonna go over my favorite techniques, the Pomodoro Technique and Focus Block, which allow you to get more done during your day and have more free time than ever before. Let's get into it. Now, as a bonus, make sure to watch to the end because I'm gonna give you my favorite way to set up the whole week so you can incorporate Pomodoros and Focus Blocks in your week effortlessly. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button to get notifications when more content like this comes out. Today, I want to give you the two ways that I like to structure time around tasks in order to make sure that I'm more productive than I've ever been. Are you ready? Okay. Method number one, the Pomodoro Technique. Now you may not be familiar with the Pomodoro Technique, but it's something so simple and easy to integrate in your day that even if you only have 30 minutes, you can get one Pomodoro done and make sure your productivity is skyrocketing through the roof. This technique is a method of using about 30 minute chunks of time, using 25 minutes as your productivity time, as your I'm getting this task done, and you chunk tasks into 30 minute periods where for 25 minutes you're working on the task in five minutes you take a break. Now you could do between three and 10 of these every single day depending on how long your workday is. But what it allows you to do is to separate time for different tasks or break a huge task down into different chunks and get them done a lot quicker with a break so that your mind can really reset and you can get back in the zone every 30 minutes. I like to pair it with something called Brain FM because it makes it so much easier to sit down, focus, and get that piece of work done easily. Actually, there's so many different apps and I'm actually gonna put one right here right now that allow you to just set the timer and keep going and make a certain task the focus of your day. So it's so easy to do and it's so simple, yet it's so effective because it allows you to have that 25 minutes of intense good work with the five minute break for your mind. Method number two, the focus block technique. Now focus blocks are a bit different and focus blocks are a 90 minute period where you focus on a lot bigger tasks because a lot of times 25 minutes on with five minutes off for me personally isn't doable. It's those five minutes get in the way of what I'm trying to do because I do have a lot bigger tasks sometimes. So uh, for instance, video editing. It used to be the for instance, just like right now when I'm editing this video. I need at least 90 minutes straight of focus, of deep work on this task. And so if I'm only doing 25 minutes on with five minutes off, I'm going to get distracted or I'm gonna be in the middle of something creative that I most likely want to get done, but I won't be able to because I need to take those five minutes off. So having this 90 minutes with a 30 minute break, so it's a two hour period, allows you to make it a lot easier to do big tasks. The focus block really though is for these big tasks. It's for the most important tasks of your day. It's for at the beginning of your day, maybe you could do one or two of them and I'll teach you in a bit how I set up my day each day during the week to make it a lot more effective. But by doing these focus blocks, it gives you that time and that ability to get into the flow state and really get whatever you need to done, done. Now, how do I structure both of these in my day to make it most productive and how can you do that too? It's a lot easier than you think. Okay, I don't know how long you work. I work most days all day long. Now, maybe you work four to six hours a day. I know that's really short, but like when we talk about deep work and when we're getting into the actual productive time and elements that you have that isn't creative work, or maybe it is creative work, or maybe it's a combination of creative and logical work, whatever it may be, most of us can only get four hours to six hours of like real good work done a day. The way to structure the day, and this is how I like to do it, is to have two focus block periods in the beginning of the day. So in the morning, you have a 90 minute focus block with 30 minutes off, and then a 90 minute focus block with 30 minutes off. Now during that hour, it doesn't mean you have to take something off, but it means you're not working on that task that you were working on before. After that, then you can chunk the rest of the time you have up into Pomodoros. And this allows you to get those smaller tasks done later in the day after you use your brain power in the beginning of the day. So if you're doing something on social media or you're, you're doing emails, you can segment it into 25 minutes on, five minutes off after your two biggest tasks are already done in the morning. This is an easy way to really set up your day for success. Make sure your biggest tasks get done first and then allow yourself to get these smaller ancillary tasks done as well. Now, when it comes to the whole week though, it can seem like a ton of planning because every day you need to know your two tasks. Granted, if you're using the productivity planner that I made a video on earlier, it already is breaking down your days into Pomodoros. And if you're using 
more than three Pomodoros on a certain task, you can just create a focus block out of that. You should have your task for the week that you already know that you're supposed to do. And then once you really figure out what the top one or two is, you can create a sprint around that. And what a sprint is, it's one to two weeks of just intense focus on two tasks and you need to have an actionable item at the end of that sprint. So how you're setting this up is focus blocks in the morning, Pomodoros in the afternoon or whenever your later tasks that don't require as much brain power occur. And then you take all of that and you put it into each day throughout the week, which is all building into the bigger one to three tasks that need to really be done by the end of those two weeks. If you use those techniques, it's really gonna make it easy for you to get huge things done in bite-sized chunks. It's like eating the elephant. You can't eat the whole elephant at one time. You gotta eat it in small incremental pieces. And no, I haven't eaten an elephant before, but that's a saying that a lot of people like to use in marketing because you know it just makes it seem a lot easier, even though it does sound weird to eat a whole elephant one bit by bit. But you know, it, there, there was that one guy who ate a whole airplane and he did eat it piece by piece. So I kind of understand based on that. Sorry, I mean, I just got off track, but using these strategies, you'll be able to make your week the most productive and make sure that you can really focus and get these big tasks done. I wanna thank you for watching this video. If it helped you in any way, press like. If you use a different technique, I would love for you to put it in the comments below. I'd love to check it out and really dive into another technique or start to incorporate it in my day or just test it out for a while. Otherwise, please subscribe so I can make more content like this and I look forward to seeing you in a video soon.